Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Welcome to your lesson on electrostatics. Today we are continuing with examples on Coulomb's law. So in our example, in our example, we will be looking at we will be looking at how to calculate the net force on Q sub A due to the other two charges which are charge c and charge b okay so given the information that q sub a is negative eight microcoulombs when q sub b is negative four microcoulombs and the distance between them is five centimeters also that q sub c is negative seven microcoulombs and the distance between q sub c and q sub a is eight centimeters we must find the net force on q sub a and due to these, due to these other two charges. Okay? So without any waste of time, let's first calculate the force on A due to B. So that is force on A and due to B would be K Q A Q B over distance A B squared. Now we found that another, by the way, this K is 9 times 10 to the 9. Remember, guys, you want to have to cram this K. It is given in your formula sheet. However, I always say a student that knows their work is the one that knows their constants. But you can't know all, all constants, right? You can't know all constants. Some you can just go through your formula sheet and just substitute the value E. Now, Q sub A is 8 microcoulombs, which is micro means 10 to the minus 6. And Q sub B, it was, was it 4? Yes, it was 4 microcoulombs. Now, distance AB was 5 centimeters. Centi means 10 to the minus 2. Now, all square. Okay, so let's calculate this. So, what do we have? We have a uh -huh, eight. Okay, and then we have five. Okay, let's see. I am getting one hundred and fifteen comma two zero newtons. Now, remember, guys, we're looking at a force, and because we know normally a force is, okay, it's not normally, a force is a vector quantity, so meaning it has a magnitude and it has direction. So let's look at the interaction between charges A and B. Charge A and B are like charges, so they will repel each other, meaning sphere B or charge B will be moving upwards while charge a will be moving downward. So the direction that charge A moves due to charge B will be downwards. Right? Will be downwards because they are repelling each other. Alright? Okay. Now, let's look at the force on A due to C. Again, it will be Q, K, Q sub A Q sub C over RAC square. All right. Now, what do we have? What we have is this is 9 times 10 to the 9. This was charge A was 8 times 10 to the negative 6. Charge B is 7, negative 7 times 10 to the minus 6. Right. Now, the distance between them was 8 centimeters. I remember I had said to you, centi is 10 to the minus 2. So 8 times 10 to the minus 2, which is? Okay, it's fine. 8 times 10 to the minus 2 is fine. Okay, of course, it's 0, 0,08. Okay, now let's find our answer. It'll be in the, on my calculator, I'm basically changing uh, what I had earlier. Okay, so now what do we have? 
in place of five, I put eight in place of that four, I put seven. Okay, my answer is 78,75 newtons. Okay, so the force on A due to charge C is 78,75 newtons. But in which direction? Let's go back. So, what we are seeing now is that we see A and C are like charges, so they will repel each other. So, this means it will be going to the left. Okay? It will be going to the left. So, it will be to the left. Okay? So, now, the question was saying we must calculate the net force. If we want to calculate the net force, if we want to calculate the net force, we see that these forces are going in perpendicular opposite directions. All right. So to find our net force, we will have to find the resultant force between these guys. This is the resultant. Remember this one here was FAC or this one here was FAB. So this is what you did in your vector calculations in grade 11, right? Or if you're in grade 11, this is what you did, the first topic you did in your grade 11 physical sciences. Okay, so now let's find the resultant. So, our resultant, we will use Pythagoras theorem. Remember the diagram I drew? I said you have something like this. This is your FAC and this was your FAB. Alright, so this will be your resultant here all right so it's here you use pythagoras theorem so we'll say fr equals square root of fac squared plus fab squared okay now the values were f sub ac was 78,75 squared and F sub A B was one one five comma two, I believe. So let's find answer to this. We have uh -huh. one one five comma two. Okay. So our answer is. 139,54 newtons. However, we are not done. Okay? We are not done. We need to find this angle here. We need to find this angle here. Let me call it theta. Okay? We need to find this angle here, which we call angle theta. Okay? We need to find this angle here, which is angle theta. Now, as you can see, we have opposite this theta. We have the side here, which is FAB, and we also have the side here, which is FAC. All right. I know we also have FR because we just calculated it, but I don't like using it because um, I have rounded it off. However, you're still going to get the same answers. But what you're doing is to now find your, use your Sokatoa. So if I have this side here and this side here, I will just use remember opposite and adjacent so i will use tangent so i will say tan theta okay tan theta equals f a b over f a c right opposite over adjacent therefore theta equals theta equals tan inverse of what f a b over F A C. Oh boy. F A C. Okay. Okay, let's get it. So this is basically tan F A B was one one five comma two zero. F A C was seventy eight comma seven five. Let's get our angle. So shift tan. 115,2 over 78,75. What is our answer? Our answer is 55,64 degrees. So this angle here 
is 55,64 degrees. Therefore, therefore, the net force is 139,54 newtons at 55,64 degrees. Right, 55,64 degrees to the horizontal. Right, to the horizontal. Or sometimes, if you don't want to use this 55,64, I want you to imagine it. We have seen it in this way where our angle was like this. If you do your maths, this is basically first, second, third, fourth. So it's in your third quadrant. If you're doing maths, this is in the 180 plus quadrant. So if you add 180 to this, if you add 180 to this, you will be getting you will be getting 235,64 degrees. So you can say your net force is 139,54 newtons at 135,64 degrees. It is still okay. Whether you leave it like this as as 55,64 to the horizontal or as 235,64 it is still okay okay it is still okay okay guys so this is how you do this question and with that being said we are done and it's a wrap so bye bye